my beautiful Magdalene sisters. My name is Lisa. I just wanted to hop on live and introduce myself. I'm so excited to be here with you. And I've thought of all the things I could say. I know we can keep it short. Um, and so I'm here with you. I'm here with you to honor you and to celebrate your divine feminine spirit. Um, I want to thank Shannon for um, inviting us to come live into the group. Um, yeah, it's amazing to be here with you and I love divine feminine energy. I channel the goddess. I, um, I've been a nurse for 18 years. I'm a health coach and I use frequencies and quantum healing to bring shifts to women in hormones and anxiety. So I started writing my chapter and I erased it all. And then I started over again. And finally, <laughs> I turned it in last week. So I'm waiting. Um, I'm going to be editing really soon. And I would love to partner with somebody if they want to um, go over what we've written and just share I really am excited about this and like Shannon had said you know I am going to love to promote us to um, my circles um, of women I started a women's group here in Northwest Arkansas where I live about three years ago and it is a, a larger women's group um, we have over about 130 women-owned businesses in the group so I will be talking about our uh, finished product and our book launch when it happens. So I am thrilled to promote um, you and to get to know you. And um, I think I was supposed to say something about um, what I do, <laughs> but I mentioned I help women connect um, their deep inner desires and what is really going on with them to their health. And as a medical intuitive and a nurse, I have a master's degree in integrative medicine. And so I really focus in on teaching self healing. So I would love to connect and yeah, I'm just super excited to be here. Um, I went live earlier today. Um, if you want to catch a longer version of, uh, of health tips, on my personal page all about polycystic ovarian syndrome and how it connects to our grandmother wisdom um, within us and you know we have this divine feminine power that we um, have forgotten how to use and so it's a remembering and it's an awakening of who we are so um, you may be familiar with the divine feminine oracle guidebook um, I play the bowls and the tuning forks for my clients and I help them align their frequencies, but I love using these Oracle cards and Mary Magdalene has been speaking to me for the past, uh, well, I'm sure she's been <laughs> yelling at me longer before that, but she's definitely been speaking to me for a couple years now. I went to this channeler who channeled Mother Mary and the channeler started speaking Armenian um, and called each person to the center of the circle. And I was kind of like nervous and embarrassed to go in the center because I was with people I didn't know. And so I volunteered, I think I was like the third or fourth person to volunteer to go in the center of the circle. And she started channeling like Armenian messages. And when she looked at me she was washing my feet in the center of the circle and she said do you know who you are um, and I you know sitting there going um yeah <laughs> um, she said you're an elemental do you know which elemental you are which element and I you know I'm a Capricorn so I thought oh earth earth energy, you know, and water has just been really calling me lately and the sacral energy and the water and rushing around me when I stand under a waterfall, like at these retreats that we do, um, 
I went to a yoga retreat, stood under a waterfall. Like that energy has really been speaking to me. And I feel like we're in this ocean together and that the water is all around us. And I think back to that experience with this lady who channeled Mother Mary and how Mother Mary's been really um, whispering loudly <laughs> to me. So I wanted to read this um, just really quick, but it's the Mother Mary card and it says, when your soul selects her card, she's the apostle to the apostles. She's the bridge between heaven and earth. She is fully human, but yet fully divine. And I feel like that's um, who we are, is that we're fully human together and that we're fully divine. And it says, she represents the fierce, unwavering love that we all have to access within our own vulnerable hearts. She's a love that renders all things sacred from the animals to the angels, from the poorest to the most powerful. It is a love that sees the inherent worth of all things. And it's a love that remains even through the darkest of times, even through death. Her love is the one that resurrects. And so it talks about, you know, and I'm sure you know this, that Mary was a light worker. She used Reiki and I do Usui Reiki. Um, and I strongly feel like she came to me and urged me to do this Reiki um, because in the meaning of Mary Magdalene, which is a book um, that you might know, she it revealed that Mary is not just Jesus's companion, but that she is an equal partner in teaching and transmission of light codes. And so she believes the author of the meaning of Mary Magdalene in this book that um, Mary's gospel contains a secret teaching um, so that she could pass through um, these stages of of teaching and enlightenment to reach her soul and that's um, I guess called the news like the nous which is the highest point of the soul and that is how she accesses these these higher realms of healing and so I feel very strong great strongly that you know she has been brought to me for a reason and that this um, this opportunity has been brought to all of us for a divine power that lives inside you that's beginning to awaken and I know that might sound like far out to some people who are in the muggle world of the 3d but I've been practicing for 20 years in the 5d consciousness and studying and meditating and she didn't come to me until maybe two years ago so like I didn't really think about her like I do now as a light worker and as a Reiki master. And I think it's because once you once you really tune in, like I wasn't really listening. And you might have been there too that like at a point in your life where you just really you knew the things, but you weren't really connected to the things. Does that make sense? And I feel like when my soul selected her card in a reading last week, I was having like a, a dark night of the soul kind of thing. Like I was on my period, I was in the red tent, I was with all these other ladies and they were like, oh, this is a great time. And I'm over there going, I mean, like, I'm telling you guys this, but I feel like she is the bridge between all of us, not just heaven and earth, but between all of our soul purpose to speak for each other, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm just speaking this message um, for those of you who watch this video. Thank you so much um, for being in this group. Thank you, Shannon. I have so much gratitude that um, it's it's been calling me for a long time, a long, long time. And so um, thank you, Simone. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to get to know some of you. And if you want to reach out, I'm here. Uh, my business is Natural State Life Coaching. I, you can just reach out to me on my personal page if you want to uh, be my friend. <laughs> um, let's talk about the goddess uh, oracle cards or witch cards like that you love. My personal favorite that I worked with was White Buffalo Calf Woman and Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion. So those are two of my favorite goddesses and I feel like they speak to all of us 
I feel like they live within all of us and that we are all goddesses in one and at different times we just express their strengths and their challenges and so you might see Ganesha behind me right there and so um, I honor you and I'm with you so with that I brought my bowl and I thought I would just play you a little note of solitude today so we can take a deep breath in together and exhaling and just thinking about our swirling energies of the divine feminine strengthening our sisterhood harnessing our powers together and sending them out into the great galaxy the beautiful universe and our mother Gaia to receive what we offer our gifts. Thank you for being here. I love you all. I honor you and I can't wait for this launch. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks, Simone. <laughs>